So for the following video, we're going to solve the following exponential equations. So let's jump right into it. Looking at example A, we have 4 times e raised to the 3x plus 2 is equal to 2. So the first step for this problem, get e all by itself. So the 4 in front of it, that 4 is getting multiplied to e to the 3x plus 2 power. So in order to get rid of that 4, we are going to divide it on both sides. On the left side, 4 over 4 cancels, leaving us with e to the 3x plus 2 power. And that is going to equal 2. Well, 2 divided by 4, that actually simplifies to 1 half. Now what we're going to do next is we're actually going to take the ln of both sides. I'm going to take the ln of the left side, ln of the right side. On the left hand side, when you're taking the ln of e, so what that's actually going to do, ln and e actually cancel out. They are opposites with each other and it's going to leave me with 3x plus 2 on the left hand side. So all we're left is the exponent there. And this is going to equal to ln of 1 half. Now we're solving for x. So now we just need to do a little bit of algebra to get x by itself. Let's subtract 2 on both sides. Getting 3x is equal to ln 1 half minus 2. And then let's divide 3 on both sides to get us that x is equal to ln of 1 half minus 2 over 3 as our final answer there. So that's what we get for that particular problem. Moving on to example B, we have 7 raised to the 3x plus 2 power minus 15 is equal to negative 3. So we want to get our exponent completely by itself on one side of the equation. So this minus 15, we actually need to kick that over to the other side. So we're going to start by adding 15 on both sides. Negative 15 plus 15 cancel out, leaving us with the 7 raised to the 3x plus 2 power. And that's going to equal to negative 3 plus 15 is a 12. What we're going to do next is we are going to take the ln of both sides. Now, we're taking the ln of a number raised to a power here. So what this is actually going to do is this actually allows us to take the power and bring it down in front as a coefficient. So what that's going to look like is this. We're going to have 3x plus 2 times the ln 7 and then that's going to equal to ln 12. So then what we actually need to do is we actually need to multiply this out. We need to distribute. Take 3x times ln 7, take 2 times ln 7. So that's going to give me 3x ln 7 plus 2 ln 7 is equal to ln 12. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move everything that does not have an x in it to one side of the equation. So the only term that we have that has an x in it is this one. So I'm going to kick over the 2 ln 7 to the other side. So I'm going to subtract it on both sides. It's going to cancel on the left, leaving me with 3x ln 7 is equal to ln 12 minus 2 ln 7. Now what we're going to do is we're trying to solve for x, right? So we want to get rid of everything else. So I'm going to divide by the 3, and I'm going to divide by ln 7. So everything gets divided by 3 ln 7. And let's see what happens when we do this. On the left, 3 over 3 cancels. ln 7 over ln 7 cancels, leaving us with x. All right, so there's nothing that we can do here. We have ln 12 over 3 ln 7. Over here, the ln 7s can cancel out, leaving us with a minus 2 thirds. Otherwise, that's what we get for the solution here for that particular one. Otherwise, that's it for this video.